Hello again, everyone. This video is about quantifiers. Now, what are quantifiers? Quantifiers indicate amounts or quantities of things. And in this video, we are going to look at how to use and the differences between the following quantifiers. They are much, many, lots of, a lot of, few, a few, a little, little, some, and any. But before I get to the quantifiers, I have to talk about countable and uncountable nouns. I made a video earlier about nouns and I discussed what a countable and an uncountable noun was. And to determine which quantifier to use, you have to know if the noun that you are describing a quantity for is a countable noun or an uncountable noun. Let's look at the examples. In the first set of examples, we have the countable noun, apple. Okay, apple is a countable noun. We can count apples. So in the first sentence, there is an apple on the tree. This is another way to say there is one apple on the tree. In the second example, there are apples on the tree. We can count them so we can add an S and say that there are apples on the tree. There are more than one apple on the tree. All right, so countable nouns, we can make them plural. In this particular case, I just added S to apple to make it plural, but other countable nouns have other ways to make them plural, which Again, look at my video on nouns if you're a little bit unsure right now. Okay, so let's go to the next set of examples with uncountable nouns. In this case, we're talking about sand. Sand is what we call a mass noun. A mass noun is a group of something. And we count a group as one. So they're singular. For example, number three here. There is sand on the beach. You see, it's counted as one sand okay and we would never say like number four there are sands on the beach we can't pluralize it we can't add the s all right so if you can determine if the noun is a countable noun or an uncountable noun you'll be able to use quantifiers with no problem whatsoever and the first one we're going to look at is the quantifier much much is used to determine the quantity of uncountable nouns and it's usually used in questions and in negative sentences. Let's look at the first example. Number one, how much ice cream do you want? Here, much is describing or determining the amount of ice cream. Ice cream is an uncountable noun. So we use much, right? We can't count ice cream. Remember, it's one of those mass nouns, a group. It's counted as a group. And in the second example, you don't have much time before the bus leaves. Here, this is a negative sentence. We're talking about uh, you don't have enough time. And time, in this example, in this particular use of time, it is uncountable. So we use much, all right? Time is counted by how? It's counted by minutes and seconds and hours. Those things you can count, but time, the way it's used here, you can't count it. So we use much. All right, now let's look at many. Many is used with plural countable nouns. It's mainly used in questions and negative sentences, similar to much it's a large quantity of something but many is the alternative to much because many quantifies countable nouns like in the first example number one 
How many cookies do you want? Cookie is a countable noun. I can count cookies. One, two, three. In the second example, you'll see it. There aren't many cars on the highway today. All right, so many means a large quantity. So if we say that there aren't many, we mean there are not a lot of cars on the highway. Okay, cars, car, countable noun. That's how you know which one to use. Now let's look at a lot of and lots of. This should be very easy for everyone. Okay, because they're used with uncountable and plural countable nouns. They're usually used in positive sentences and like much and many, they are used to quantify large amounts. So in the first example, we have, there is a lot of bread on the table. Bread? Is bread a countable or an uncountable noun? Mm, uncountable noun. We can also say, number two, there is lots of bread on the table. They both mean the same exact thing. So you can use a lot of or lots of with uncountable nouns. All right. And look at number three and four. Let's do three first. There are a lot of windows in that house. Window is a countable noun, so we can pluralize it, right? We put the S on this, in this case. There are a lot of windows. And number four, there are lots of windows in that house. Three and four mean the same exact thing. You can use a lot of and lots of. Next, we're gonna look at few and a few and they're used with plural countable nouns and they usually mean a small amount or a quantity of something. Let's look at the examples. In the first one, few students walk to school in the country. When few is used like this, in this particular sentence, the emphasis is on the small amount of students who walk to school in the country. In example number two, we have a few students walk to school in the country. In this case, the emphasis is on, well, there are a small amount of students that actually walk to school, but there are at least some students that walk. So one is implying that there are a small amount, maybe in a negative way. And then in number two, a few students is saying that, well, I know there's a small amount, but some students do walk to school, okay? Now, you have to be careful, all right? Because there's an exception to this. If you put quite in front of a few, it changes everything. Let's look at the example. Quite a few students walk to school in the country. In this sentence, it means that many students, quite a few means many. So you see the big change? So that one little word quite will change the whole meaning of the sentence. So you can still use it. Just remember what it means, okay? Now we're gonna look at little and a little. Little and a little are used with uncountable nouns and they usually mean a small amount or a small quantity of something, all right? Let's look at the examples. We had little time to prepare for the test. Now, in this sentence, we had little time. This means that we had maybe not any time at all. This means a very, very small amount or no time to do it, to prepare. And in number two, you'll see, you can really see the difference here. We had a little time to prepare for the test. This also means a small amount of time, but it's saying, well, I know it's a small amount, but it was still some time. You see how different it is from the first one? In the first example, we had little time. It means small amount or no time to do it. 
And then the second one, we had a little time, which actually means we had some time, but it was only a small amount. All right, got it? Now let's look at how some is used. Some is used with both countable and uncountable nouns. It's used in positive sentences. It's used when we're offering something and it's used with requests. Let's look at the first one. Number one, he has some friends with him. All right, friend is a countable noun. So we can use some with countable noun. It's positive, right? He has some friends. Number two, he bought some iced tea for his friends. Now, iced tea is an uncountable noun. You see, but we can still use some. So it can be used with countable and uncountable nouns. In number three, we have an offering. Would you like some coffee? Here we're using some for the person is offering, if the other person wants something to drink. And in number four, we have a request. Could I borrow some money, please? Now, some is used other ways in English, but these are, are pretty common ways. Now, let's do the final quantifier, which is gonna be any. Any is used with both countable and uncountable nouns, and it's usually used in negative sentences and questions. Let's look at the examples. In the first sentence, number one, she doesn't have any friends at this school. This is implying it's a negative, right? She doesn't have friends. And again, it's a countable noun. Friends, right? Friend is a countable noun. Number two, there isn't any milk left in the refrigerator. Another negative, right? There is no milk. Milk is uncountable. And in the third example, we have a question. Is there any money in your bank account? This is a neutral question, right? It's not a negative or it's not a positive. It's just, the person is just asking, is there any? All right, and that's how it's used. All right, okay. That's all for this video. Take a look at the summary here first. You can pause the video if you want. So I hope this video was helpful. Look for my next video, which is going to be a test on quantifiers. All right. So, like I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.